All right, so tracks four and five, uh, Story of Tonight and the Skyler Sisters. Uh, first off, Story of Tonight, uh, we'll just look at a kind of good thing. Story of Tonight is doing two things, I, I feel, storytelling-wise. One, it's giving us a break. It's, it's nice and mellow, and it's giving us a chance to breathe after the fast-paced intensity. Um, and just realize that most works of fiction do have like kind of an ebb and flow, tension and release, so we can relax. The other thing that I think Story Tonight is setting up, which is only in the Sada Sisters, is they think they know what they want. And we said they have one song, and now they're kind of reveling in that. And uh, they're going to get something different than they expected, expected over the course of the thing. And I think this kind of relaxed celebration of what they want is kind of meant to set up this idea that you know, it isn't there yet, we haven't crossed the threshold. We're still very much in the introductory part of the show. Skylar Sisters, uh, we've got to introduce new characters, but we've also got to introduce location a little bit. We haven't talked much about setting. So in terms of setting and characters, what, what is the song setting up and how is it doing it? Greatest city in the world. Greatest city in the world, yeah, okay, what else? Um, so the sisters are allies, right? So in regards to allies, but yet they're also... Well, we don't know what they are yet. It hasn't really, has any, this hasn't set them up as allies mm -hmm. or, or anything yet. With the reference to like the violence in the streets mm -hmm. and the nearing possibility of war is also so they're telling us that New York is the center of the world. <laughs> it's the center of the revolution. Everything's happening. Look around, look around. Look how lucky we are to be alive right now. It's, a, it's an exciting dynamic to be a part of, even though it might be scary. Somewhere in the city, too. Yeah. Time. Yeah, Taylor. That's the name of all three. One, something different, because one, the, what, Peggy wants to go home. Eliza's kind of like, uh, it's kind of just going with the flow, but then Angelica's like, I want headstrong, I want to go out and adventure and see what's happening. Yeah. And yeah, you see the differences between the three. Yeah, would you say this is the I want song for the sisters? Or for I think your minor characters don't don't always have that, okay. but it's doing that again. Generally with the, the, the plot, everything is still in relation to the lead and what they're trying to tell the story. And while it might get the I wants, if you were to not know Alexander Hamilton's background, now, if you haven't studied the history, out of these three ladies, who do you think, is, who would you guess is going to be the most prominent woman? Oh, Angelica. Yeah, okay. Now, I just said that the story of tonight is trying to set us up for a change in their expectations. Okay. And I think this is also mirroring that. Don't they, like, offer the possibility of all three of them being Yeah, they offer the possibility of all, all three there. And uh, and but I think but I think if anybody were to take a guess, you know how the stories progress, they're going to think, oh yeah, Alexander and uh, and <laughs> and Angelica, which they do continue, but it's not exactly where we <laughs> expect them to go. So again, I think they're trying to set up a parallel here. As far as Burr being a foil, how are they setting that up? He's already hitting on Angelica too. Yeah. So <laughs> They're after the same women now. I never forget anything. I don't think this was done, but it, actually, I think in reality, Burr was kind of chasing one of them, wasn't he? I, I, I can't remember if that one's. But, was, but we do see that, that Burr is richer, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that Hamilton is already recognizing his insufficiency in that area. In terms of characterization setup. Is he even in this? Song? Who? Hamilton? No. So they completely cut him off to show the, yeah. the strong competition of Bert. Right. Yeah. And as far as certain musical styles and things, Burr, is Burr as complex a rapper as Hamilton, as facile with flow? Okay. And I don't know if it, and they're set in New York City. I don't know if you picked up, but. This sound, the beat at the beginning, and those scratches. All sound like Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> this is a scratch. 
we were definitely talking about an old school Brooklyn hip hop flow. I mean, Brooklyn music is a thing right away. So that could that, do you think that's to indicate, I guess, his um, social level or how he's, you know, a trust fund, maybe, so he's already, do you know what I mean? Like old I would say it's setting him up, it's, it's, it's setting up New York, it's giving us that subtle, it's giving us a subtle flavor of the idea that we're in New York, but we're in in the world that uh, he's created. There are people that are now past that in hip hop, so to speak, with the more advanced, sophisticated flows. So I think he's also setting up Burgers just a little bit behind, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit behind the times, a little behind the movements. And in this case, a little bit behind of being savvy, picking up the women. I mean, he, he gives. Uh, he gives wonderful pickup bar lines like, and you, ah, so you disgust me, I'm a trust fund baby, baby, you can trust me. <laughs> you know, so setting him up is a little less than subtle. It is. Sorry. Games week. Yeah, it's games week, yeah. Should we talk about work? What I'm looking for a mind over, again, just like shot, work means yeah. a bunch of things here. So, right, because it's, it's looking for a mind at work. There are lots of people, they're talking about New York's this center of work, but there's also this um, hip hop term work, right? Yeah, Definitely can anybody find, work, can anybody find what hip hop, what work means in hip hop well? Work or twerk, dude? Work. <laughs> you gotta work. What? You gotta work your game. Yeah, yeah. yeah especially with him flirting with the other girls and everything like that. Can anybody define it succinctly? The hip hop work versus versus just manual labor work. What do you want to say? You define the hip hop sense of work. You got to work it, work your game, work your thing. You know, what? I'd say it's almost like you got to be conscious of it. Be aware you know? because I don't think it's always a physical thing, it's more of this kind of mental state of being. If you got attitude, it. yeah. So, okay, before we go on to the next songs, let's take a short 10 minute break.